All right, I'm Luke Kaczynski. I'm Logan Fanning. And our product is Freeze Free, Innovative, Sustainable Frost Blankets. So in agriculture today, a major part of the industry is frost blankets. The essential purpose of a frost blanket is during the fall and winter months, you cover it over the leaves of the plant, be it uh, small crops, small shrubs, etc., and it protects the leaves, the stems, etc., from freezing. Well, we are here to innovate that. What well, our product does it is it is a frost blanket that is biodegradable. It's uh, made of biodegradable uh, rayon fabric so that when you're done with it, you don't have to roll it up at the end of the season. You can simply pack it around the roots or what have you at the bottom of the plant, and it'll rot away for the uh, springtime. Also, ours is infused with plant-specific nutrients so that as it's rotting away, it's also benefiting the plant at the same time. Also, in comparison to other blankets, which, as you can see, are generally white, Ours is going to be black in color, which will further enhance its properties because it's going to be absorbing heat during the daytime, so that during the cold nights it's going to be keeping that plant further insulated. Uh, for our business location, we chose York, PA. The reason we chose this is because they have the lowest minimum wage at $7.25 and very low business taxes. We have 2,892 square foot industrial machine factory building. So this factory building will work well for our needs because it's a, it's a good size, it's near the major interstate so that we can easily transport our product. So human resources plan, we're going to have eight in manufacturing. What we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Ryan Fabric wholesale, you know, it will be produced by another textile company or what have you. And our purpose with the eight in manufacturing is going to be infusing it with the plant specific nutrients and packaging it. We're going to be using a dyeing process for that, and so they'll be working on the plant floor. Three in shipping and loading. They'll be bringing in the wholesale goods off the dock and loading up the finished product on the trucks for transport. We're going to have two in advertising. We're going to be advertising in farm and garden newspapers, magazines, etc. So they'll be keeping our image fresh. Two janitors, upkeep people to keep the facility running smoothly, keep the grounds maintained and what have you. Two general department managers, we're probably going to have a department manager sort of in the, uh, the lower section of the business, the actual manufacturing, industrial side of it, to uh, keep the employees there in shape, and uh, another manager sort of in the administrative level. And then Logan and I will be taking care of the uh, company administration, book work, etc. Our customer target is farmers and gardeners age 20 plus, but it doesn't just classified for that. Anyone really that has a plant can get this product to cover their plant just to keep it from freezing. Uh, we will advertise in farm and garden magazines to get our word out. We use social media as well and the product will be available we'll try to sell to stores like farming stores like um, tractor suppliers, stuff like that and you can also get it like on our website too. So here's our survey results. Based on what we found, age isn't really a big factor, but, you know, 20 plus, so mainly adults that are, you know, in the farming and garden industry or that, you know, are farming and gardening as a hobby. Um, for the professions, most were a wide myriad of professions, so not only are we going to be targeting the... Uh, the professional farmers, gardeners that do that for their business, but it looks like we're mainly going to be targeting also the hobbyist, you know, the guy working on the weekends or what have you with his plants. Uh, as you can see, 57% of people said that they have plants that would need frost protection. And when we asked if anyone would like a biodegradable version of this, 33% said that they would. Okay, so there was sort of a, uh, a split in the market. Some said they would want a standardized frost blanket size, so say 10 foot by 10 foot in a roll, and then some said they might also want a product that's a specific size, you know, like a specific size for a small shrub or a tomato plant or something like that. So we'd probably have half and half. Some of our products would be specific size. Some would be, you know, just a general size that a person can cut to their needs. All right, most said that they would pay around $5 for this product or so. Generally, we're probably going to be manufacturing it for about $2 and selling it for about 5 So that's over a, uh, a double profit range. So that will be giving us a good profit margin. Uh, the product is designed to be black to absorb heat. When we asked if anyone would like color options, most of them just said they would like black. 
78% said they would just want standard black. And should these be infused with nutrients? 75% said that they would like nutrients. So our swap, our strengths is that there really are no frost blankets on the market like this. Unless you're using burlap or something, none of them are really biodegradable. You have to roll them up at the end of the season. And certainly none of them are infused with the nutrients. So that, as it rots away, it's going to be benefiting your plant as well. Our weaknesses is that, I mean, theoretically you can save it, but the purpose is to have it rot away and benefit the plant at the same time. So someone that wants to save the blankets at the end of the season and prevent buying them every season, they might not like this product, but it's a convenience for the grower. Our opportunities were eco-friendly, which is a big portion of the agricultural market these days. People are looking for green type of renewable products. And so we could advance into uh, other green uh, agricultural products such as stakes, uh, fencing, other biodegradable uh, agricultural items. And our threats, any company that sells frost blankets, and there are quite a few of them, but none of them are near as advanced as ours. Our competitors will be uh, Grower Supply and Joe's Organics. Our competitors, they have a semi-permeable fabric, which is like a burlap which lets some water get through to the plants, which ours will not do. Ours is going to stop water from going in and keep like a black cover over it, which will just keep the heat in, just keep the plants protected. Essentially, our product is going to take all that the uh, competitors have done, you know, and all the successes that they've achieved and essentially add on to that with the biodegradable aspect and the nutrient aspect. And burlap, burlap is very limited in its protective qualities. A lot of people use it, but it doesn't have near the technology or the advancements that ours has achieved. So here are our financials. Essentially, since we created this chart, we switched it up a little. We, or we were originally losing money because there wasn't enough profit margin. It was only about $1.60 per blanket. We've since changed it so that there'd be about $2.50 per margin per blanket. And we'd also be increasing our sales, which would actually put us into the black for those years. Um, essentially, what our big uh, initial expense is going to be is creating the, uh, the manufacturing technology to produce these blankets. We're not going to have to worry about producing the textiles since we'll be buying them wholesale. We're simply going to have to buy the dyeing equipment to infuse it with those nutrients. Essentially, like dyeing cloth, only in this case with uh, fertilizer and what have you. So that's going to account for our $50,000 in building equipment. That will be initial investment. And then after that point, we should have very little invested in equipment besides repairs and what have you. Uh, wages are going to be about $200,000 per year. Um, if we give our employees raises, that could go up exponentially. But uh, as we foresee it for the moment, that will be steady over the course. Uh, for our growth plan, uh, for the first month, we would like to sell 1,000 blankets. And that would cost about $3,420 to produce, and we'd be selling them for $500,000. And for the third month, we'd like to sell $100,000, costing $34,200 to make, and sell those for $50,000. And from there on, just basically, as our advertisements get out and our name builds up, we would like to just get out more, sell more products. And a big thing we'll get, be getting into the farm and garden type stores, Tractor Supply, Agway, etc., to get our product out to the mass market. And so here's an example of one of our advertisements. We want to incorporate that green theme, that eco-friendly sort of overtone with it. And uh, that is our, uh, our blanket.